Hello to all my friends out there. I thought I should move the, the camera closer. So tonight is the hot dog challenge. So I had quite a few challenges and I had a good reason for doing these challenges. These are foods that I stockpiled. So now it's time to eat up the stockpile. So they're inexpensive foods. I had the spam, the spam challenge and I'll be doing more of these as I eat them up. Tuna, deviled ham and Vienna sausage. Now we have the hot dog challenge. So you might be thinking, what's with these sandwiches? Well, if, if money gets tight and you have a big sandwich, it will last you almost all day. And what I do is I eat some soup with some crackers and cheese. So here it is. This looks good. Okay, so I had... I bought a lot of bread half price and one of the things I bought were half price bagels. See, I only have one left and I eat everything. Sometimes you see me, sometimes you don't. So this week they had English muffins on sale. So, um, eating this and, and and this is good so what I did I'm eating food that I bought marked down or drastically reduced so this week I try to find any sausages I got these um, cheddar jumbo franks at 99 cent only and then I bought um, so the trick to this is you just check in. I bought this uh, Velveeta cheese for about $1.47. I don't know where I wrote it. Grocery outlet. It was a couple days expired. Uh, I also bought this cheese for $2. So at night when I eat soup, I try to get vegetable soup. This stuff is almost as cheap as uh, as um, Top Ramen. Uh, Top Ramen has gone up, which is ridiculous. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing okay. So, okay, so the idea of stockpiling the food and so that at some time in the future, maybe the near future, maybe the distant future, you could go weeks to months to years without buying food, which would save you money, especially during this, this uh, inflationary period. So I want to mention this lovely blouse. I got this really cheap. It is not my cup of tea, but that's okay. I wear it for a while and then I throw it out on a tarp and I sell them. And I posted a couple of... Uh, shirts that I sold no just one shirt uh, some of the stuff I sold at the swap meet I sold uh, I didn't sell the candlesticks so I just put them back in the living room so what I will do is I think I'll just keep them for now and uh, Uh, let me give you the banana uh, nut bread recipe. So if you can get your hands on one of these at a thrift store, uh, the Mormons, I think, make some of the best fruit bread. Let me give you the recipe. It's a very easy recipe. It's right here. So there's nothing exotic. And so what I did is I also bought uh, bananas marked out 25 cents a pound so uh, let's see I made banana pancakes oh my my phone's micro memory cut out and so you know that messed me up 
So on these kind of sandwiches, I usually like mustard and ketchup. Okay, so um, so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, um, now I have stockpiled, I've been stockpiling food for maybe two years. Uh, I've stockpiled all this food, now it's time to eat it up. You, it, it'll expire if you don't eat it. This could be any kind of sausage, this could be any kind of meat and cheese, but if you find your meat and cheese marked down, then you know this is, I wouldn't say this sandwich costs a dollar. video on on my Twitter of Glenda and Lele because it's not really a hateful exchange and it does get them views so you know it helps them out a little bit and one of them they help each other out a little bit so I have peppermint tea and you know it's all about entertainment Glenda said she doesn't like to be boring, but she ain't boring. Okay, I want to say something about these little saucer type uh, teacups. The uh, tea will cool really quick in these, so you have to be about drinking it. Okay, so that'll do. And if I was really hungry, I could uh, have some chips. Okay, uh, let's see. So, hot dog challenge number one. So now we've stockpiled this food, now what? Stop spending now, carefully manage your money, and don't waste anything for the next, I don't know, until the coast is clear. Uh, so, I have stockpiled food that I normally eat, and then now I'm eating it. So this, now there's a drastic uh, increase in food. I noticed today I found chives. Let me show you what I found. So I got two. All right. This, I saved this because I thought I was going to have to buy chives in the plastic. But I found this at Walmart. See, this one's little. And this one was $2 and this one was $1. So it's less dried chives. I use them a lot. I might be making some potato soup, but it was uh, 10 grams. Now it's 6.2. So six over 10 is three fifths is what is one, uh, one and a half over two and a half. So it's significantly smaller and it's twice as much money. Also, I was saying to the lady at the uh, gas station, they're lying about the gas is only up uh, so many uh, dollars because I used to buy $5 worth of gas every other day. Now I buy $10 worth of gas every other day. And if you have a truck, it costs you over $100 to fill it. So that is another 100% increase. And so... That's why if you can find your food drastically, it's a bit of a hassle when you first start it, but it's not hard to do. And then if this, re it's not going back the other way. So we need to learn how to do this. So um, I've been finding good snacks that are helping me in my quest to take off some unwanted weight. Another thing is I don't want to gain any more weight. But I've gone back to work, and so that helps more than anything. So for lunch, I could have soup with bread, you know, like a sandwich if I wanted, crackers with cheese, good cheese, like I showed you, and dumplings, soup with dumplings or biscuits. Okay, 
One easy way to make dumplings is just get canned biscuits, cut it in four pieces and put it on the to top of your soup and cover your soup until the biscuits are, or until the dumplings are done. So dumplings add to your meal. Now dumplings are gonna be a problem if you don't have any flour. And then uh, biscuits are really good. There's all kinds of good things you can make out of biscuits. And then uh, potatoes. I bought 10 pounds of potatoes and that really went forever. Okay, so these big sandwiches are enough food for one day. Okay, I want to mention to you the trucker depression. And so you might be going, what is a tr what is this, a trucker depression? Uh, well, what has happened because the cost of the fuel is so extreme, the uh, small owner operators cannot afford to do business. Now here in San Diego, we have local truckers and when I would drive like to um, Plaza Bonita and work, um, they would be driving in the fast lane with the most rickety trucks. You, uh, They used to scare the hell out of me. But now these truckers are having a hard time because of the fuel. And so the fuel is literally putting them out of business. So the diesel fuel is a big problem. Okay, in Al Almeida, downtown LA, the, the gas has been reported at eight dollars a gallon okay it started up there at six dollars a gallon and it's six dollars down here so now you might be going what are we going to do well we're going to be smart we're going to carefully manage our money and we're not going to waste anything including gas so um we're going to reduce the consumption of fuel and utilities so does that mean i'm going to sit in here with no air when it's 90 degrees no because that is misery making. I want to be thrifty, but I don't want to, I want to be frugal, but I don't want to be stupid about it. Okay, now, a note about food storage. Eat the food you have, make easy meals that you like. Maybe you're going, I hate hot dogs. Well, uh, I mean, if you weren't used to eating cheap food, this Spam, tuna, deviled eggs, Vienna sausage, and hot dogs would be hard to take, but you can mix some hamburger and some chicken and some better sausages in there. And then just start saving money wherever you can. Like when I'm downstairs, I make sure all the upstairs lights are off. I try to be out of the house all day. The babies have to keep each other amused. And so there's some dire predictions. People and companies will run out of money. So that's where being frugal and, and wherever you can see a dollar to save, you know, like say if you can go one week without having to buy many groceries, like maybe I need some tomatoes, I don't know. Um, I have radishes and cucumbers out there. I planted my garden early and it, it um, when you plant early, it grows pretty slow. Uh, also, my uh, tomatoes didn't sell too well at the swap meet. So this week, and it's like overnight, they're getting very big. Uh, I will take them to the swap meet this weekend and we'll see what happens. But a lot uh, at the swap meet, I go to anything goes. You can sell jam. You can sell your old food. You can sell, I mean, you saw my junk. Uh, I have a lot. Okay, so... Just in case you're new, store cans of food, like fruit, vegetable soup, and milk, evaporated milk. Store wheat, like flour, but crackers, I found two boxes of crackers for 99 cents today at grocery outlet. Corn, like cornmeal, like grits, that was, that was a big step up. I have tons of grits, thanks to Glenda, Sully, go to her channel, she's got a good heart um rice beans and pasta now out here i see people buying big huge bags of rice now beans are expensive pinto beans out here and uh, i want to mention nutrition bars okay i am a hater of breakfast so i found nutrition bars for 50 cents each and it, and I, I gave one of these to a homeless guy um so you know these are like a whole meal and if you have a coke 
you know, these are like a decent little meal. Or if you have a tendency to overeat at night, one of these can help. And they're not, let's see, they're all different numbers of calories. You can't really, this one doesn't want to divulge the calories. Oh, oh, this one's not bad, 190 calories for 50 cents. That's less than, uh, and it's one little package. So, you know, it's not like a quart of ice cream. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for the nice comments, and God bless you all.